Hello everyone, welcome to the most enjoyable course on AK Academy. Today we will start a new course which is building a Blazor calendar synced with Outlook calendar. It's going to be very enjoyable, very interesting course for all of you. I hope so, of course. We will build an application like uh, the one that you see. We will also design the UI from scratch. We will do everything from scratch. We won't use any plugins or anything external. We will make our designs using the Microsoft design language, Fluent UI, implement all the animation required things. We will implement authentication with Microsoft account, creating calendar and syncing that calendar with the Microsoft Graph API. So let's see how this application will work. The user starts and you will see this page. Click on sign in with Microsoft. Then you can sign in with your Microsoft personal account. Okay. Here we go. After the users log in to the system successfully, it shows this page. Here the user can add a new event and this panel is to show the current events for that day. And from this one, users is able to choose a month and a year. And we will render a calendar like this. We will design it and make it from scratch. We will structure this, how the days will be shown. And as you can see, here we have set of events. Those from my Microsoft account, actually, if I open my calendar in Windows 10, this is May. You can see in 15 May, I have going to the gym event. And from 19 to 21, I have Microsoft Build 2020 watch party. And 27, I have live session. And 29, I have going to the mountain. If I go here, I can see the same calendar even with the same day structure as you can see start the day from Friday to 31 we will do all of that from scratch here we go we can select days you can see cool animation and I click here I can see the events in that day and at the same time I can add events I click on 31 click event added from laser web assembly at 8 p.m. to 9 30 p.m. and let's click add so in this way you can see the event added here to the UI and also if I go to the Microsoft calendar you can see the event has been shown here immediately our calendar is fully synced with the Microsoft uh, Outlook calendar so this is the full course I hope you will enjoy it and, and enjoy every part of it. You can find the solution on GitHub, the link in the description box below. If you want to reach me for any question or anything, you can find all the social media links also in the description box. And also all your questions are welcomed in the comments. Okay, what you will learn exactly in this course. Here we have, this is the thumbnail. I hope you like it as well. Okay. We'll learn how to build Blazor Web Assembly apps with Visual Studio Code this time at the Visual Studio Full IDE. Then designing web page using HTML, CSS, Bootstrap, and Fluent UI. We'll use the Microsoft Design Language styles to uh, design our UI. Those three videos will be separated. Like we'll just use HTML, CSS, Bootstrap, and Fluent UI. There will be no uh, web Blazor. Then we'll take the template and we will create a Blazor Web Assembly app, creating and structuring the calendar. It, it will be like a little bit challenging and interesting. It's, it's, it's a very cool task. Then implementing communication between components. We will see how we can send data from one component to another. And also managing components state in the app UI. When we add an event, we want to notify other components that, hey, an event has been added. So those components should be re-rendered themselves. Authenticating, authenticating users using uh, Microsoft Azure Active Directory multi-tenant account like any Microsoft account is acceptable whether it's personal or for business and dealing with the Microsoft Graph API, pulling calendar events 
and submitting new events to the calendar of your Microsoft account. This is everything for this course. And let's move to the next video and start talking about the tools we will use, how to initialize Visual Studio Code, and then get starting with the design. Don't forget before we start to hit the subscribe button to support us to add more and more and more content. Thank you.